John Healy has shared his thoughts on Ukraine's ongoing Kursk offensive this morning. Emma Birch has got all the details and he's written in one of the newspapers, hasn't he? Yes, yeah, Sunday Express in a comment piece there, um, making it clear that as far as he's concerned, he's more certain than ever that defence of the UK and for that matter Europe starts in Ukraine and that Russia needs to be stopped. If Putin succeeds, he won't stop there. Others will be emboldened. He describes this move across the border into Russia as a bold incursion and cites Article 51 of the UN Charter, basically which gives you the right to self-defence and that as long as uh, Ukraine's actions are within the boundaries of international law, then uh, they'll continue to have support from the UK. This is what he wrote. We should be proud that British donated equipment in the hands of brave Ukrainians on the front line is helping them to defend their country and push back Putin. Uh, just for context, so far the UK, in terms of military aid, has given £7.6 billion. And actually, for this year alone, £3 billion has been pledged and for all years ahead for as long as it takes, basically, is what the UK has said. But what's clear from President Zelensky's nightly address is that he wants more support uh, from the West. He's praised the UK's true leadership, he calls it, but says support has slowed down and wants more in the way of long-range capabilities. That's what he said specifically. It's crucial that our partners remove barriers, barriers that hinder us from weakening Russian positions in the way this war demands. What he's talking about is restrictions in terms of uh, UK's long-range miss missiles, the Storm Shadow missiles. He wants to use them to target airfields and supply lines and command posts within Russia. At the moment, Britain are keeping those restrictions in place. Zelensky says he's going to really ramp up the diplomatic efforts with the US, with the UK, with France and others. And it's pretty clear that the others will include Germany. Uh, there's speculation that actually they're about to halve military aid from next year to Ukraine. So really ramping up that pressure to continue the support for Ukraine. Yeah, and it's it, very interesting to see um, whether the UK and the US um, change their position at all.